How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to print your Amazon SKUs onto your brother QL 1110 NWB without any added software. You print from your list like this, send it to your printer, and your labels will be coming out chooching one by one like so. It is probably just a settings issue for most people and that's what we're going to go over in this video. Before we get into it, I would like you guys to know that this video is sponsored by RestrictedInventory.com. So if you have Restricted Inventory, head over to RestrictedInventory.com, set up an account, send them your Restricted Inventory, and then it's a 50-50 split in profits rather than just passing on the item and getting zero. You help them, they help you at RestrictedInventory.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the tutorial. First thing you need to do, make sure your brother printer is on your network, it's installed. I have a link to the tutorial, how to do that in the description. Make sure to check that out. Number two, you're gonna have to get these labels and load them in your printer. These are 62 by 29, DK11209 is what it's called. And this tutorial is specific to these labels. So I will leave a link to them in the description make sure you get these labels, or if you have other labels, you might have to tweak some of the settings in the computer. Now you're gonna load these labels. These circles of this foot need to slide into your printer and press on those pins, and then you have to slide the labels underneath that sensor and then close the top. Now I'll see you guys on the computer, show you guys the settings, because that's where all the real magic happens. So here we are on the computer. The printer is already installed and we're just going to be tweaking some settings. So you're gonna go down here to your finder, type in printer, and it should come up with this printer and scanner system settings. Click on that and it will bring you to here. Then you're gonna look for the brother QL 1110 NWB your wireless connection. So you're going to click on that and go to manage. Then you're going to go to printing preferences down here and it brings up all of these options. The first thing you're going to do is go over to the crop print tab and then check this box automatically print individual labels with barcodes and then this radio button extract individual labels with barcodes and then you're going to pick your paper size right here we have 62 by 29 millimeter labels so that's what we have picked maybe you ordered a different size label and you should pick those labels if this is in inches then you're going to have to go over to other and then click millimeter radio button in order to put this into millimeters. It's easier to do it in millimeters than inches. It's just more precise. And for Amazon labels, millimeters is just easier. If you go to advanced, you really don't have much settings going on here. I had the half tone for logo and binary checked. So this is what my settings look like here. And then if you go to basic, it should look like this. Even though this paper size says this, the width and the length say that, it's in landscape mode. You can just ignore that for whatever reason it says that, but it's still going to print in 62 by 29. If you don't want it to annoyingly cut every label, you can put cut at the end or you can uncheck that if you don't want it to cut at all. Now you're going to hit apply and then you're going to hit okay. Those are the settings that you're going to need for this printer. So copy those settings to your printer. Get your Amazon FBA workflow where you have this drop down. You're gonna wanna choose 30 up, 40 up, or 44 up if you have the 62 by 29 millimeter labels like I do. And these just give you different kind of styles of barcodes. They're, some are thicker, some are thinner. It's totally up to you. I'm just going to pick this 40 up for example, and then you're going to hit print labels for this page. It's going to download a PDF that you are now going to click and open. And as you can see, this gives us these nice fat barcodes. We're just gonna go over here and click print. Your destination should be your brother QL printer. Paper size should be 62 by 29. And although it looks like this, it will send the signal to the printer and the printer should crop it creating each individual label. So we're gonna hit print. It's gonna send the signal to the printer and this thing is just going to chooch along and absolutely destroy those Amazon FBA labels. For whatever reason, this is only available on Windows for the crop function. 
I wish they had it on Mac. It would just be that much easier. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out our sponsor, restrictedinventory.com. If you have restricted inventory, send it into them, split 50-50. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.